Hello, one and all. Welcome to this Outside the Ropes WWE Fastlane pre-show. I'm your host of Outside the Ropes, as always, Matthew Moore, and I'm joined tonight. I did say on Wednesday's podcast that he well, we're going to drag his ass here to get him here, but we didn't have to. He turned up. Tony, hello. I'm always here. You just don't notice. I, I'm going blind. Yep. I'm like, I'm like Jake Roberts. It's WrestleMania season, so I'm like Jake Roberts at WrestleMania 7 when he was blind. Yep. With the, the arrogance in the eye from Mar- Martell. Aye, uh, but you're just old age. That's it, exactly. So, hello everybody, welcome to our Outside the Ropes Fastlane special. Tonight's the pay-per-view, the last pay-per-view before WrestleMania. I can't believe WrestleMania is, like, literally, what, three or four weeks away? That's awesome. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Interesting card tonight, guys. We're going to go through the card quickly. Um, we're going to answer some of your questions as well. We're not going to keep you too long tonight because we want to go off here and get ourselves some or some stuff for tonight and get it in and get some drinks in and stuff like that for the pay-per-view. Non-alcoholic drinks, of course. Of course. Well, I might change, but no. I'd be like Big Show on the podcast, just sitting with a towel, with a beer, it'd be alright, won't notice. We'll be like Kurt Angle drinking a beer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some great matches on the card tonight. We're going to determine who is going to be in the main event of WrestleMania tonight as well. We're going to have uh, some good single matches, uh, some tag team matches as well. But let's get straight into it as well. But before we do, I want to give a shout out to our friends and partners of the podcast, as we always do, Wrestling's Past. For all the history of wrestling, go to their go to their website, guys. Wrestling's Past is the location to go to. I mention it every week on our podcast. They are good friends and partners of this show. Wrestling's Past at blogspot.co.uk and on Twitter at Wrestling's Past for all your history of professional wrestling. Tony, we're going to kick off here by talking about the kickoff show. Two out of three falls match for the US title. Why is this match on the pre-show instead of being on the main show? They should have the Divas tag team match. No disrespect to the Divas. That should be on the pre-show instead of this match. A two out of three falls match for the US title. Kalisto versus Alberto. The rubber match in their feud. We've had Kalisto win the title. We've had him lose the title. Win the title back at the Rumble. Who's going to walk out fast in tonight as the US champion? I wouldn't be surprised to see Del Rio win it. But yeah, why is it on the pre-show? Two out of, a, a match of that calibre. Two out of three falls. And the, the, the moves that them two are going to pull off as well. It's going to be a high fa- high-paced High flan match. Yep, that's gonna like they do have great matches, but you know why is it still Kalisto versus Alberto? Why not like sort of mix it up a bit? (laughs) Well, I don't know, but uh, you're going with Alberto. Yeah, I can see that. I think I think Kalisto's going to win it. I know you're probably going to say why, but I think Kalisto's going to beat him. Uh, Kalisto just. He is good. I think he's, he's being groomed, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's like the new. He's like the nowadays Rey Mysterio. And he's being groomed to be the new Mysterio. Yeah, and yeah, I think he's great, but I can't see him win that. I think Del Rio. Okay, I'm gonna go with Kalisto doing that. But let's get straight into the main card of the night: singles match for the Divas title. Uh, rumors have been flying around in the press in the last few days. I don't know why you know about this, but Brie Bella has said on a talk show in America that she will be retiring this summer. She's going to go away and do some baby making. Make some baby goats with Daniel Bryan. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she's challenging for the, the, the Divas title tonight against Charlotte. If she says she's going to retire, and, and this, I think it would be silly to put a title on her because we'll hear the rumours that it's going to be Charlotte versus Sasha at WrestleMania. Can you really see Brie leaving tonight with the title? You never know. She might retire with as the champion. and A lot of people's done that, so you never know. But I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm going with Charlotte in that one. Yeah, so am I. Hopefully, she doesn't. Bree doesn't win. I just can't stand the girl. And, and Ric Flair to finally like get the hell out of the picture and stop dancing around like a 21 year old, thinking he's still strutting in the Hilton Hotel in 1974. Yeah, he's you know he, but he's getting the big paycheck just to be standing there like dancing like a agent. And so why is he complaining? No. Well, that's true. Anyway. <laughs> We're both going for Charlotte in that one then. Um, Becky Lynch, we'll stay on Davis. Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks against Team Bad. You know that the Becky and Lynch and then Sasha's going to, because Sasha's now being pushed as this big time baby face. Um, but there's a bit of a friction going on there over the last week or so between those two, uh, between Sasha and Becky. Who are you going with in that one? Becky and Sasha, you have to. Like, you're Team Bad, what? They, why are they not down on NXT? Well, then again, it'll make NXT a lot worse. Why aren't they in TNA, to be honest? <laughs> they really, really have to talk about TNA. Um, it's, it's sad to see, though, that Tamina's doing such a bad thing because she's such a great wrestler. She's, I've only ever seen her wrestle once from just debut. I've actually only ever seen her wrestle once. It was like two weeks ago. 
But she is a great wrestler, but she's just not being used properly. Exactly, and there's like Naomi. What the hell's up with them light up shoes and these stupid looking outfits? And you know, no comment. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, I would be surprised if Team Bad actually does well in tonight, and then it causes a bit of friction between those two. You never know. But anyway, moving on. New Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens defending his belt title or whatever you want to call it against Dolph Ziggler. I don't think Ziggler's going to win it tonight. There could be a possible feud leading on down the road, maybe into a, 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 a thing for WrestleMania. We don't know yet, but I can't see Kevin Owens dropping the belt so soon. What do you think? No, they've only given it back, so no, nah, I'll see. You. I'll stick with Owens on this one. Mm. Good to see Ziggler though, getting a, a, a pay per view title match again, which is good to see. But Ziggler had always said that he wants a singles match at WrestleMania. Will he get it this year? I hope he does. Uh, this match, I don't know why this match is, but anyway, it even ended Raw Monday night where we were sitting looking at each other going, Braun Strowman versus the Big, is it the big Show was the main event. <laughs> what the hell? Really? I had to go, I had to, go to bed. It was, it was pissing me off. But anyway, Ryback, The Big Show, and Kane versus the Wyatt family being Looker, Looker, Luke, <laughs> Harper and Eric Rowan. Uh, or sorry, Luke Harper. Yes, Luke Harper. Can you speak tonight? Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman. Obviously, with Bray Wyatt, of course. Um, I said it's at the time where we, uh, you go for a cigarette and I go for a, a pee break, and yeah. we're sort of sitting and talk to each other about TNA, how good it is. Yeah, you know, it's. What is the point in this match? Like, how many times have Big Show and Kane actually fought each other and then teamed up? Uh, it's stupid. They've been tag team champions as well. Yeah, I know. It's, you know, and now just, like, yeah, what do we do with Ryback? Oh, sure, we'll just throw him into this match, you know. Sorry, Ryback. get it right. The new and improved Ryberg. Ah, well, yeah. Go he, back. He really does look like Goldberg now with them tights. And Go Ryback, goals. or Goldback, or Ryberg, or <laughs> looks Burback with that head of his, but anyway. Yeah, he's... Why, why change his outfit to tights? That's going to make the fans chant Goldberg even more. Even though, even though those those chants were now fading away, it's made them worse. But anyway, this is a card filler which could be filled in by other talent. Young talent is good. But what should I know? What, what do we know? The match I'm looking forward to, AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho, part three. We're tied at one apiece. This is the rubber match. Who are you going for? I'm going to go for Styles, definitely. It has uh, to be Styles. I think think this is going to be maybe the match of the night maybe match of the year could be like the it's a dream match. match yeah it's a the match. fact that it's actually putting them on a pay-per-view and not raw smartly yeah like it is a dream match it's something it's like a match like you all like fans all around the world wanted to see and now we're getting it for the third time it's great um but i'm pulling for styles definitely. yeah i think so because styles on a road the minute i said to you about this intercontinental title thing it's it's rumored have it that it's going to be owens versus ziggler versus styles at wrestlemania and a, some type of stipulation match for the ic belt whether it's going to happen or not we don't know but again i'm going to be going for aj styles on this one tonight 110 percent i think he is going to come out on top i think jericho is going to put him over because he knows how good he is yeah. and he is going to put him over um that pretty much brings us into the uh, the main event of the night. Now, but I talked about this on Wednesday's show. Dean Ambrose has dropped the IC belt. Is it a sign that Ambrose is going to win tonight? We hear that it's going to be one of the Wyatt's going to be Bray versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Is the Wyatt's going to get involved tonight and cause Lesnar to win? Is Ambrose going to win? Is Roman Reigns going to turn heel tonight? Is somebody else going to get involved? Let's have your take on it. And I'll obviously then say what I've been hearing over the last few days, but let's hear your take on it. what would be your perfect scenario tonight for this match, and who do you see leaving tonight to face the big nose, bald headed corporate bitch at WrestleMania, i.e., being Triple H? Leave Triple H alone, he's my idol. I love that guy. Uh, all that money he has, he's having a nose job. I would love to see Ambrose walking out as the number one contender, but I can't see it happening. I think it might be. I, it's hard to say between. Like, in my head, it's hard to say between Roman Reigns and Brock. I can't see Ambrose. I don't know why. I just can't see it. You're going to get heat for this, you know that? Yeah, I don't care. I, I just can't see it. I would love to see it, but I just can't see him walking out. I think it might be Lesnar. No. I'm going to go for 
Ambrose for the reason being, from what I've been reading and what I've been told and stuff like that, there that apparently they're going to be putting a storyline with Triple H and Ambrose at Mania, where we're maybe going to have a referee thrown into the mix and Ambrose is going to have like a special enforcer thrown into the mix. Um, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But we may even see a heel turn tonight. Finally, they're going to turn Roman Reigns heel, which is good to see. Um, because obviously they're they're not getting behind Roman Reigns at all. They're booing them. You know, yeah. they're they're pretty much booing them, and it'd be a good time to turn him heel. Maybe turn on Ambrose and you know have a complete heel turn. We also hear rumors this week that it could be Roman Reigns versus the Undertaker at WrestleMania this year, which would be a big big match. We also hear that uh, your favorite wrestler Super Cena could be coming back for WrestleMania to fight the Undertaker this year. We don't know, but you know, you hear all these rumors this time of year. But in my opinion, for what I've been reading and, and speculating and stuff over the last few days, it's going to be Ambrose tonight, and I hope it is. And I would like to see Ambrose but because Ambrose is over with the crowd. Yeah. When his music hits, the crowd goes nuts. He's over. He, he's like your modern day blue collar ass whipper who doesn't take any crap from anybody. He walks up and stands in Brock Lesnar's face and doesn't take any crap from him. He f fives him and he laughs at him. You know, he's kind of like your modern day Bram Pillman stroke Steve Austin rolled into one. That's and he is awesome, and the fans love him, and he's great, and he's entertaining. He can be funny, he can be serious, he can be a nut job. A nut job. <laughs> he can surprise you, he turns up in ambulances, he turns up in taxis to beat your ass in, and you know, hot dog carts. Hot dog carts. <laughs> he's, he's awesome, he's just entertaining, and you know. I think it is his time to go for this, but I could be wrong. It could be Roman Reigns wins it, but obviously he'll get booted a building for that. But yeah. uh, can you see a any light of this here? I, I think R Ambrose will win. I would love to see Ambrose win him, <laughs> but I'm still going to go with Brock. I don't know why I think Brock. Does people won. really want to pay money, $9.99 by the way, for the network, or whatever you want to pay on pay-per-view, to watch the same match they've watched before? Or do they want to watch the underdog, Dean Ambrose? I mean, you think about this, right? This is what I heard the other day, which is quite good. Dean Ambrose wins. Triple H comes out and laughs at him and says, ha, 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 you know, who do you think you are? You're just a nobody, and, you know, I've beaten bigger guys than you and stuff like that. And say Triple H makes a special guest referee to try and lean it in his favor. For example, his good friend like Shawn Michaels or something like that. And Ambrose makes a match where he brings in an enforcer, i.e. maybe The Rock, Steve Austin. And it ends where Ambrose wins the title. He, awesome. the, because who's been feuding with the authority more than Ambrose and Reigns? Yeah. Or even Seth Rollins comes out and screws Triple H out of the title. I would love that. I would love to see this. And he helps. And, and that's the whole thing. The Shield getting back together. Just just a, a thought. But you're definitely going with Lesnar? Yeah. I'm going with Ambrose. I'm going to go out on the limb here. But anyway, that's enough of it. Uh, let's get to some questions from people. Uh, which we got today. Um, a lot of people asking us for our predictions, which we'll just give, of course. Um, we'll just open it up here on our iPad as we're looking here. Uh, did you see that story earlier on, by the way, about, about, about Batista? Or Slobbered about Manny Pacquiao? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, we'll talk about that on Wednesday. But, but he's like a Puerto Rican himself, is he not? Like no. Batista? Uh, Filipino. Or Filipino. Uh, Batista's like half mm. quarter Filipino or something. Yeah, I'll like talk that. about that on Wednesday show, but it's on there. Um, let me see, where are we? And he sends a message on Facebook saying he thinks that Roman Reigns is going to win, unfortunately, uh, but a possible feud uh, later on down the line with Roman Reigns turning heel. So I would say it could be a possibility because it's built up for Roman Reigns to win, though. But you know what, WWE, they like to make a twist and turn. Yeah, well, I hope Roman Reigns doesn't win it because he's starting to bore me. <laughs> he's like Kevin Nash, he's like the modern day Nash. Oh, God. People, um, on Facebook again, we have John asking us, what do you think of Sasha Banks being the Divas Champion? Oh, I think it'd be awesome, but not the Divas Champion, change it to the women's title again. Paige did say in the news recently that she wanted to change the belt back if she ever became champion again. Uh, the should. Like, NXT has a women's champion. Like, why can't Raw and SmackDown have a women's title? Not Because Divas. they're Divas. But they're not, they're wrestlers. Thank you. <laughs> you know. No comment. <laughs> Tamina Snooker's hardly a diva <laughs> She looks like a man Okay uh, Joey on Twitter asks us What do we think of Becky Lynch being a future champion Also Dean Ambrose being a future WWE champion And AJ Styles being the Intercontinental champion Awesome 
I think I would be perfect. AJ Intercontinental Champion, Becky Lynch. Yep. Women's Champion. Yep. And Dean Ambrose. The guy who you thought he would never get any far because obviously of his career in like CCW and stuff like that, being the WWE Champion. That would be awesome. Uh, that would be perfect. But can't, will it ever happen? That's the thing. Here's another for you. Claire, write, Claire writes to us on email. Guys, I know it's nothing to do with the paper, but your thoughts on the Cruiserweight announcement? You talked about it on Wednesday's podcast. The announcement of the Cruiserweight Open. I think it's, it's going to be called the Cruiserweight Open. Starting this July on the WWE Network. I've talked about it. I get my thoughts on it. I know you're a big fan of Cruiserweight Wrestling. But all these cruiserweights coming in from like Evolve and Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling and all this here all coming in for this big 30-man tournament. Your thoughts? That's going to be, oh, that's going to be amazing. You know, it's a big time. Like, who was the last cruiserweight champion? Hornswoggle? Mm. Jesus Christ. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you know, we're live. We're not pushing beat buttons. But no, I, th I think this is going to be very very good it's, it's a good thing because we saw Triple H at Evolve Wrestling a few weeks ago backstage in a photograph so it's good to see yeah just don't bring like so Jimmy Noble and Joey Mercury and Joey Mercury and all them ones back and Psychosis and all them let them are, like go away and do their own thing there's a lot of good independent young cruiserweight yeah. stars out there, there that are that should be in the tournament obviously don't want to go through any names I will eventually down the road but yeah it's uh it's good to see. I'm looking forward to that as well. And thank you very much for your question. Guys, we're going to hit the road here. We're going to head on here and watch tonight's pay-per-view. Don't forget, you can check it out on your local pay-per-view subscriber, WWE Network, of course, which we're going to be watching it on live. I'm back on Wednesday uh, for another podcast for more discussion. Uh, we're going to go through tonight's pay-per-view, Monday Night Raw, any other news that's been happening over the last few days, which has been a lot of stories going on, which we're going to talk about. Tony, we'll see you eventually someday down the road. Yes, I will see us at some stage. We'll be tweeting to you like tonight, guys, throughout the pay-per-view, as always, on our Twitter account, at Outside the Rope, using the hashtag WWE Fastlane, or if you want to send us a personal tweet, you can, or talk to us, whatever. We'll be sending out photographs. I will be tweeting, because I don't know how to. You need know, you know, Guys, he hasn't even still haven't got Twitter or Facebook yet. Even, even our own dad, who's not even technically minded, who actually finally decided to come out of the dinosaur ages the other day and get himself the internet, is actually getting himself a Facebook page. Right, okay. Well, and you're still not on Facebook or Twitter? You were on uh, Babel years ago, but that was about it. Yeah, but no, I didn't keep it traditional. I don't even know how to switch on a computer. You know, it, it's my yeah. No comment. Enjoy tonight's pay per view, guys. I'll see you all back here on Wednesday for more discussion on outside the ropes, and uh, send us as many tweets as you can. We look forward to hearing from you. So from Tony and myself, Matthew, enjoy tonight's pay per view, guys, and I'll see you back here. See